What's up guys, it's Grindzilla86 bringing you this crazy Garden Ops gameplay of Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare and me and Maxzilla have really been getting into this game and I was going to bring him in for a dual com but he's busy playing with Mr. Pickles our new female cat <laughs> so, whatever it's all good but uh yeah i thought this was crazy it's um the most kills i've seen so far and uh garden ops but i'm not like claiming any record on it or anything like that but it is crazy and i go on an insane rampage that you'll see in a minute it's like a 36 kill vanquish feed or something insane like that it's it's pretty bonkers and Garden Ops is really fun in the game, but um, you don't get as many points, I don't think, as in uh, multiplayer versus like the time that you play and all, because um, you know it equals out about the same, but each match of Garden Warfare is like two, three times the length of a multiplayer match. So you um, you rank up quicker and you get more coins in um, multiplayer. So, anyways, oh. Is this it? Uh, no, because there's a tombstone there. That's right. But it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty insane um, how many challenges I do in this match, too. Uh, Garden Ops is really good for challenges, but uh, you can use um, the stickers, which kind of look like packs of baseball cards. You can get those, see the challenge skippers, and if you find a challenge that you can't do in Garden Ops or vice versa that you can't do in multiplayer, you can skip it and uh, it'll give you the points and all and you know you'll complete the challenge without actually having to do it so I thought that was really cool the game overall is pretty awesome it looks amazing on the PS4 and it's a lot of fun but um, there are a couple little things I don't really care for in the game like uh, for some reason like multiplayer is like well not some reason it's awesome that it's 12v12 but Vanquish which is just TDM, uh, Team Vanquish, is only 50 vanquishes, which is kills in the game, which is weird. Oh, and this right here, in case you haven't seen the game or played it before, each uh, Zomboss wave, you have this, uh, like a, shit, what do you call it? It's like a slot machine type deal that comes down to tell you which, you know, types of bosses that you're going to fight during the wave. And when you press start... Uh, your challenge menu pops up and that's when you can skip them in game or you know or you know do the challenges if you like but um yeah the game is really fun and there was one other thing that they should patch but um uh, oh yeah this right here like I think that uh, garden ops would be insane if it wasn't it goes to I don't want to like ruin it at the end in case you guys have never seen the game or anything, but it only goes to wave 10 and then you escape. Crazy Dave comes, you meet in a drop zone, and then he picks you up and you all leave. But you all have to be in the circle. Oh, here's this insane rampage feed right here. Get out my face, chomper. These are my kills for the taking. <laughs> and it's just like an endless feed. It's insane. I'm going bonkers on these zombies. But uh, those are just regular brown coats, and they're pretty easy to kill. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, freaking terror, man. It's awesome. But um, shit, I got off topic. But uh, <laughs> look, it's still going. <laughs> but, uh, hey, what's up? See, what's up, guys? <laughs> say what's up, guys? <laughs> but uh, Max don't want to say anything. But um, yeah, it would just be so awesome. It's more like. It would be awesome if the waves just kept, yeah, if the waves kept going for as long as you can make it, and then there was like a leaderboard, almost like zombies, but it's more set up as, uh, yeah, yep, we're about to face the gargantuan, yeah, but, um, yeah, it's more set up like Extinction and Aliens, where you escape at the end, but uh, it should be more like Zombies, since it is Zombies, where, in Call of Duty, where you make it as far as you can, and it's like Endless Waves of Zombies. That would be pretty awesome, but I don't know, some could argue that fact, but um, yeah, it is, uh, it's really, really fun, though, other than those, those are the only two things I don't like in the game, but uh, other than that, the game... It's really fun. It's got really cool game modes, and um, 
it's just all around awesome and you can unlock so many characters and variables of those characters like um different weapons you can give a certain character or like gestures which is really funny the gestures like when you kill somebody you can do like a little, a little dance move say what's up guys what's up? <laughs> you can do like a little dance move over top of them and it's so funny and get these crazy hats and like here I'm like the berry pea shooter so he looks all tropical with all these berries on him and stuff like he's some like cool dancer I got the next one yeah but uh and we got the multiplayer which characters have we unlocked already um cactus did we get the, the electric cactus and we got the electric chomper. There's like ten different characters of like the, each character that you can unlock. Power. Like, uh, yeah, like he said, there's all these different ele power elements for each character. So, like, this pea shooter right here, you can get a toxic one that each, like, pea that hits a person, it, like, poisons them. And you can get, like, a fire pea shooter, and same thing with, like, the sunflower, any of the other ones. You can get, like, a fire, ice, sunflower, and they all have their own unique abilities here, too. If you notice, um, you know, this bottom right-hand corner, you've got L1 is the um, chili bomb, which is, like, a little atom bomb that goes off that draws them in. It kind of reminds me of, like, monkeys from zombies. And, um, and then you've got, uh, R1, which is like a speed boost where you can jump super high and get up on top of buildings and stuff. And then, uh, triangle, I don't think I use it in this match, but triangle's really cool. You turn into like a stationary Gatling gun. It's really cool. And just like straight machine gun down some zombos. And, uh, yeah, so each character has their own u unique abilities like this, which is really cool. And um, yeah, it makes now the game these just fun and. Come out. Oh yeah, what things are you talking about? The little things come out of the football zombie gun. Yeah, and that's the other ones too. You've got like all star characters too. Like the so for the plants, you've got a sunflower, a pea shooter, a and chomper. And a cactus. And a chomper. Yeah, a, yeah, a cactus and. And all the like characters in the game. And what else? There's another one too, isn't there? Like crazy game in the wall. Yeah, and then also multiplayer too. You can yep. play as like I don't remember Ray. if it's called like a zomboss, but Zomba. it's something along that line. But you get yeah, but you get like an aerial view over top the map, and you like, can do like air strikes and stuff like that. It's really cool. I think I'll do a, a multiplayer. I've got a couple good multiplayer matches that I've saved up, and I'll do those for my next gameplay. And I think tomorrow I'll either do a, like a Destiny gameplay or like a Call of Duty or something. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and uh, let you know how the game was in case you haven't got it. And it's definitely a good deal. It's 40 bucks, I believe, on uh, the PS4 and 30 on the PS3 US and um, yeah it's totally worth it the game's awesome and I've also heard that there's DLC coming out for the game soon that's gonna be free and here's the gargantuan that Max was talking about look Max we're fighting him the, uh, this is the electric boss and uh, yeah he's insane don't get caught up in that uh, electric beam and uh, he even shoots out like rockets from the little son or kid or whatever is on his back it's pretty crazy that? and when he hits you you can have like uh, your full health and if he melees you with the telephone and phone, you can like play in the garden bam. which that's what I thought the other cool part about this game garden. play was is that I don't go down at all. It's really it. cool, and some of them, some of them, I've gone down <laughs> tons of times. But it is, I think it's on either normal or easy difficulty, which uh, that's the best way to do challenges. And uh, when you're starting off, this was only like I think like my second or third time playing Garden Ops in the game at all. So yeah, but uh, it is pretty hard though on all settings, and I tried it. Uh, like, I think one match before this on Crazy, and it was insane. I got like 20 kills down like 20 times probably. It was bonkers, but you get a lot of trophies in this game too. I think already we've gotten like, how many, how many, how many trophies have we gotten already? Like 20? No. 
we probably got, yeah, close to that. Yep, 4 plus 16, around 20, something like that. But, um... I got 100 kills! Yeah, and then your coins are like your money, and your money you use to buy your character packs. And you can rock your stickers! Yep, you, yep, you buy sticker packs with them. And I like, I think the best thing to do with your stickers is to save up the 40k is your most expensive pack but it gives you a character that's all you get is one unique character a rare or super rare character but they're usually awesome and it's totally worth it because say for instance if you buy like the crazy dave pack which is like 20,000 coins you'll only get like one piece of a character and it says you're supposed to get weapons upgrades but that like rarely happens so i think they're not really worth it to buy the little pieces of uh, oh in here the little pieces of uh you know characters it, you just end up spending way more money but as you see here on the 10th and final wave this is where we meet up with crazy dave and yeah busting out a freestyle <laughs> no it's just kind of right oh cool yeah we are too but you uh, okay max all right let me finish out the video but uh yeah so yeah, definitely with the stickers, that's a good tip, is uh, to get the the best ones, but I think on the $1,000 ones are really good too. Well, they can be, because you get um, all your potted plants are numbered, because like these empty pots here each round, and you know, on multiplayer you can plant your different uh, potted plants. And same thing with zombies too, you have a limited number, and you have to buy those packs to get more of them. And uh, you can also get um, team revives in those packs, and you can also get um, sh sugar bear. What was I gonna say? Team revives, and oh, the challenge skips too. Oh yeah, and we made it out. We escaped. Oh yeah. Look at this awesome score. That's a really cool level too. All the levels are really unique and really cool. But um, yeah. So that about wraps it up with um this gameplay i hope you guys enjoyed i'll have a multiplayer gameplay next time 